Hey squad, welcome back. Now, if you're not using track automation in your productions, you really are missing a trick. You see, I started producing at a time when everything was analog. You had to ride those faders, you had to turn those knobs and do everything in real time in order to capture the variations to enhance your productions. However, everything can now be automated right here in your door. And that's what we're gonna take a look at today. So strap in and let's get it. So we're gonna be doing some track automation on one of the guitar parts in this production right here. Let me play back a section real quick. So we're gonna automate three different things in Logic. The first and most simple will be volume automation. We're then gonna automate the wah pedal, which is on Logic's pedal board plugin. And finally, we're gonna automate the delay parameter on this Waves CLA Guitars plugin. Crucially as well, we're gonna look at the different modes of automation that we can use, such as touch, latch, right, plus the extensions, trim, and relative. Of course, read is the standard mode for when you're playing back the automated parameters. So let's start with some volume automation. So let's say we wanted to bump up the volume a little bit after every second phrase. So for Logic, we're gonna press A on our keyboard to activate automation mode and we've got the volume parameter set right here and we're going to start with latch mode as you can see the volume fader is set to minus 13.8 db we're going to bump this up a little bit when we get to the second phrase back down after the third phrase and up again for the fourth phrase i'm going to grab hold of my volume fader and i'm going to move it after the second phase so let's play back and let's get this in <laughs> Hit read here, so we can play that back. Cool, nice and simple. Now if I wasn't happy with the volume automation that I've just done, I can delete that and start again. Key command or shortcut for that is command control backspace. However, you could always come up to mix, delete, delete visible automation on selected track. Boom, that's gone. So that was latch mode. This time, let's try touch mode. And we're gonna start with the volume fader at minus 10 dB. Let's start playback. Now the difference with touch mode is I started pushing my volume fader up and as soon as I got to this point, I let go and the volume fader automatically jumped all the way back to my starting point. We came back, as I came over here, I pushed my volume fader up to minus six dB and then as I released, it dropped back down to the original volume setting of minus 10 dB. If I was in latch mode and released the volume fader at minus six dB, Logic would have continued writing the automation data at minus six dB all the way through until I made another change. And finally, let's try write mode. Now write mode erases everything it sees in front of it. So at the moment, if I moved my volume fader to say minus 11 dB and start playing back, let's see what happens. <laughs> I'm not even moving the volume fader. What's happening is write mode is erasing everything that it sees in front of it. As soon as I hit stop, it will stop erasing. Let's try that one more time and I'm gonna mess with the volume fader and let's see what it does then. Release. Pull back down. So again, as soon as you release the volume fader, it continues to erase the data that was already there. So it's definitely useful to try out the different mode to see which one works best for you. Now we're going to automate one of Logic's plugins, the wah pedal on the pedal board. So let's get rid of this volume automation. Once again, key command is command control backspace. 
and I'm switching back to latch mode. Let's open up the pedal board. Once again, here's the sound of the guitar before we add the wah pedal. Okay, let's switch it on. And now we're gonna automate the actual movement of the pedal. Let's have a read of that. Okay, so we've done volume automation. We've also automated the parameters of a Logic plugin. But this time I wanna do a third party plugin. And the one we're gonna automate is this Waves CLA Guitars plugin, which I've got on the guitar. And the parameter I want to automate is this delay slider. I'm gonna be operating in touch mode. And this time what I wanna do is increase the amount of delay for every second phrase in this guitar section. So let's try it out. <laughs> Touch is the perfect automation option for this type of adjustment because all I want to do is for every second phrase increase the amount of delay and then drop right back to what the original setting was which is exactly what happens. So let's play that back real quick so we can hear the impact of this bit of automation. <laughs> How cool is that? So there's one last thing I wanna show you before we wrap things up. I recorded some fresh volume automation on this guitar section. I'm gonna hit this drop down right here and you'll also see we've got the wah pedal automation data as well as the delay automation data. However, if we come over here and we click on the automation modes button, you will see at the bottom here, we've got trim and relative. I'm selecting trim and I'm gonna to go to touch. The button now says T-touch and the volume fader is a somewhat translucent button. Although we've got volume automation already in place, we can make further adjustments to this volume automation without actually wiping out what's there. So if you notice here, we're starting off at minus 20.5 dB and the peak is around minus 16.6 dB. Now by moving the volume fader with T-touch on, let's say we went up by two decibels. What will happen, we'll be adjusting all of this information here by 2 dB. Let's try it out. Now you will notice that whereas the peak was minus 16.8, we have added two decibels of gain. So now we've got 14.6. And we've done that all the way through to about here where I released the volume fader and everything dropped back down to normal. And now if we were to switch to relative, we'll see R touch. Now with relative, we can create even more adjustment. So let's try that and see what happens. You'll notice that we've got our main volume automation here, but there's also another line behind here. If I was to click on this button right here which, and click on this, this is the second automation lane, which gives us further control over the volume automation. This is something that you can experiment with and see if it works for you. It's definitely an additional feature that you can make use of. As always, if I brought you value, remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment. That's it for now. Until next time, I'm Deuce, I'm out. Peace.